there welcome back to my channel um, so today I am working on something that I'm pretty sure most gardeners can identify with I am going to extend this garden bed because I need more room for plants I had um, pretty good success with my winter sowing and I need somewhere to put all of the plants that sprouted so um, right here I am just kind of digging up the grass and weeds and working to loosen up the soil. It's pretty compacted in this area. It's never been worked that I know of, probably not for years. Um, so I just kind of wanted to loosen it up a little bit. We have really sandy soil and so it's not hard to loosen it up. It's not, um, you know, super compacted like clay would be, but I just wanted to um, you know, make it a little bit easier for the plants, especially since they're going to be really small to get established. So now that I have the soil loosened up and the area that I want to plant in um, kind of mapped out, I'm going to take some cardboard and just lay it across the entire area to help um, kill off the grass and weeds and also any weed seeds that might be still in the ground. Um, I like to use cardboard versus something like landscape fabric because the cardboard will eventually break down. Um, and so, you know, it's not staying there causing problems in the future, but it is there for long enough that it's going to kill off anything underneath. And then um, once the cardboard breaks down, then the mulch can, you know, continue doing that job for it. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit because it's not exactly interesting to watch in real time and then we will get to the next step. Alright, so now I am just coming in and wetting down the cardboard now that it's all laid out um, to kind of start the process of it breaking down and just getting settled in its spot. Um, if I was worried about the cardboard sliding out of place, like if this was on a slope or something like that, um, I could come in with some landscape staples and tack it down that way, but I am not concerned in this area. I don't think it's going to be going anywhere. I think the mulch will be um, plenty to hold it in its spot. So now I am coming in with the mulch um, and just, you know, dumping it on, spreading it out to cover the whole area. I want it to be at least three inches thick, maybe four, um, just to hold that cardboard in place and then also be thick enough to prevent light from getting down to the ground once the cardboard breaks down and so we'll just spread this out get everything covered up and then we will get to planting
All right, so I've brought my plants over and now I'm just trying to decide where I want to put them. I think that is the hardest part for me. Um, I don't have a whole lot of practice and I definitely would not say that I'm great at it. Um, so now I've chosen a spot. I pulled the mulch back um, and now I'm just cutting an X in the cardboard and pushing those flaps underneath to make a nice little open area to plant. And I'm just going to do that for this back row and then we will get those things planted. All right, so I've got my spots ready for planting and now I am just grabbing my plants. Um, I've chosen the tallest ones for the back because it's um, backed up against a fence here. So there are a variety of snapdragons called tall rust resistant mixed colors. And I am just planting them using the hunk of seedlings method where you broadcast sow and then when you're planting them you just take a chunk with however many seedlings are in that chunk. Um, and you just plant the whole thing and they just kind of duke it out and the strongest ones are the ones that grow. Um, so it's when you've got plants really or seedlings really thickly planted, um, this is the easiest way instead of trying to separate out each individual plant. Um, this is one of the easiest ways to just plant them out and kind of let them do their thing. So I'm going to plant two more in the back row and then we will get to the middle row. All right, ready to start the middle row. So here I've got um, a slightly shorter variety of Snapdragons called First Lady Mixed Colors. Um, and then these ones I actually sewed in toilet paper rolls, so they're a little bit easier to separate. Um, so I just took, you know, one little roll and there's plenty of seedlings in there, so it's pretty similar to the hunk of seedlings method. Um, it's just, you're not having to cut through the soil to separate them out. Um, you can just pop out your little roll of seedlings and plant them in just like that. And the um, toilet paper roll will break down. It's already about half broken down as it is and the roots are starting to grow through it. So I'll just get these middle ones planted and then we will get to the front row. All right, front row. Um, same deal as the other ones. I'm just pulling the mulch back here, making a little area. Um, and then I'm going to take my box cutter and cut a little X in the cardboard about the size of the space that I made and push those flaps under and then be ready to dig a hole and pop the plants in there. So for this front row, um, the shortest of the three types of plants that I've got here is California poppy. Um, I actually only had two plants come up, so that is what's going to go here. And then I've got one more plant that I want to put in this area.
All right, so the last thing I'm going to plant in this area is some nasturtium, and it is night and day mix. Um, I think the contrast of the two colors of flowers is going to be really pretty. Um, and then the nasturtiums get kind of, you know, big and poofy and will fill out this little blank area really nicely, I hope. <clears throat> so I am just going to get these planted and then we will take a look at the finished product. All right, everything is all planted and watered in. Um, so this is the area um, kind of by our garage and where we store our garbage cans. Um, so I've been trying to plant some things over here to make it pretty and it's ended up looking a little bit crazy, but you know, it is what it is. And there's a lot of pretty flowers throughout the season. So um, I think that this will be a really nice addition. I think that the snapdragons and California poppy and nasturtiums will all be really pretty in this area. So thank you for watching um, and don't forget to get out and play in the dirt whenever you can.